Hi, welcome to the Balanced Body Podcast. My name is Ada Wells. I'm a physical therapist and owner of ProBalance Physical Therapy and Pilates in Alameda, California. Joining me today is Roxana Cohen, and this segment is going to deal with core control during the golf swing. Now, the golf swing is a dynamic motion, and it requires a great deal of control throughout the pelvis and the spine. The problem is, because we're going from a full rotation right to a full rotation left in like one to one and a half seconds, there's a lot of compression and shearing forces that can occur. So it's really important that the person has good control of the pelvis and good control of the spine throughout. So what we're going to do is first just take a quick look at a test that just gives us a good gross picture of what good, con good core control would be. And we're going to do an overhead squat test. So what you would have the client do would be hold on to either a golf club or a dowel. And let's go ahead and bring that dowel up overhead. Now what you want to make sure of, first of all, is that they have their arms um, far enough away. So if you just go ahead and place that dowel on the top of your head, you'll see it'll make a 90 degree angle. So if they're holding onto their golf club, sometimes the, the arms might be a little bit far. So just adjust them accordingly. Okay, we'll go ahead and place the arms up overhead. And from here, keeping the, the legs are going to be at a hip width apart. Let's go ahead and go down into that deep squat. Good and come on back up. Now what I'm watching for is that she keeps her heels down, which you won't see from your angle, but we will show you in a minute. Um, we're watching to see that her knees stay in alignment. Let's do one more. Good, and back up. So she's, she, she keeps her alignment well there. Let's go ahead and stand to the side because we'll see a lot more information here. So what we're gonna watch when she does her squat here, a couple things. One, watch that her heels stay down, and also we're watching that her trunk doesn't necessarily lean forward more than her tibias. Let's do that one more time. So if we notice her trunk motion and her tibia motion, they should be fairly upright. Okay, great, and let's go ahead and relax there. So if she were to have, let's go ahead and we'll face front here, if she were to have difficulty um, with core control and with um, core stability, we would want to work on something like bridging. But what I like to do is incorporate some semicircles because that's more of a dynamic motion. And once again, golf is dynamic, so I want her to be able to know where that pelvis is in space with a dynamic mo motion activity. So let's go ahead and give me the dowel here. I'll have you lie down on your back. And I have her sprung with one red and one blue springs. You're going to first go ahead and just lift up your rear and push away. Okay, so that's our start. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to push the carriage away. We're going to lead the motion from the pelvis, going down, keeping the ribs intact, cleaning the springs as you come back, and then peeling those legs out. Good. So pushing out, leading with the pelvis on the way down, cleaning those springs, and then leading with flexion on your way back up. Good, one more time out. Lead with the sacrum, good. Diving that pelvis down, clean the springs, and peel up. Now we can switch directions here, so we're gonna lead with the pelvis on the way down. We're gonna clean the springs on the way back, and then we're gonna peel up into flexion on the way up. So all of this is working on great core control through a dynamic motion, out, and peel up. Good, and then you can just go ahead and bring everything in and relax. Great, so that's a great example of, a, of an exercise you can do that will work on that core control for a golfer.